Diamond seeds have been buffed like crazy. And today I'm going to show you how you can automatically plant and harvest these seeds without having to do a thing. In update 6, this is probably one of the best diamond making methods if you do not have the strongest team. But even if you do, this is still a very strong method. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the automatic way of doing this, as well as tips and tricks for getting the insta plant capsules as well as the seeds. I've also done some testing with stuff like the seed bags, just so I could tell you guys almost exactly what the odds are like for those and whether or not it's worth it to open them. So that's a little bonus aspect of this video. So I actually have had a ton of people from my Discord community let me know about this method. So shout out to them. And, and one of my members, Anchor, helped me a lot with the tiny task setup for it. So shout out to him. Make sure you join the Discord for the most up-to-date information about the market and pretty much any other questions you have. We also do daily giveaways on there. So there's not really a reason you shouldn't join. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Because this is probably something you're going to want to do. All right, so basically to start off, you only need two things. That being the Insta plant capsules and the diamond seeds. And there's a few ways to get those things. Most of the time, you get them naturally from just grinding the final area. You get them a lot as drops from breakables and chests. So you can get them that way. Probably the second best way is to upgrade your merchant rep with the garden merchant. So you can get access to a lot of these things. Clearly, I got unlucky here and there is no diamond seeds or the capsules. And a third thing that you get from breakable drops as well are the seed bags. These are actually not as bad as you might think. I'm going to have the chart up on the screen now. But basically, on average, I got about 6,000 diamonds worth of seeds or capsules in each of the seed bags I opened. And the cost of these things is only 4.5k, so you're making about 1.5k in profit from opening these. So if you can find them for rap value, these are a good pickup and one of the best ways to get these insta plant capsules. Mo There's a lot of people that do this method, so it is hard to get these capsules, especially for rap value. So if you can't find these, the seed bags are the second best value to get these things. Basically, every four seed bags that you open, you get one of these diamond seeds, and every five, you get an instant plant capsule. Again, just refer to this chart. I opened up over a thousand of these things, so this data should be fairly accurate to what you're going to get from opening them. I made that chart like a day or two ago, and the instant capsules actually jumped up in price a lot from when I made that chart. But this method is still very profitable, but that does mean that the seed bags are even more worth it. So definitely open your seed bags. Do not just sell them at the plaza, even if you aren't doing this method, because these insta play capsules are worth a lot. So you're going to be making more profit than even I said in that chart. But let's get into it. Let me show you the actual method. Also, if you haven't been in the garden in this new update, we have a new Rebirth 3 chest over here that you can collect every three hours. Nothing too crazy in it, but just something to know if you haven't been over here. So if you haven't been in the garden in Pet Simulator 99, basically you just come over here, you select a seed, and then you can plant it. And if you have a higher level watering bucket, you can water the seeds and it'll make the timer go by quickly. But that's not what we're going to do in this video. So the reason you need these insta plant capsules is you're going to come over here and then you're going to use one and then insta grow the seed. And as you can see, when you harvest the diamond seeds, you get minimum 30k diamonds. It costs 15k to get diamond seeds and about 10k for the insta capsules. So basically, and that's going to be where you're making most of your diamonds, but you're not always getting 30k. You can actually get up to 45k diamonds from one of these seeds. Let me try to show you that really quickly. All right, so as you guys can see, we just got 45k from this one diamond seed. So overall, that's basically the method that we're going to be doing for this video. This isn't the way you can make the most diamonds, but especially if you're early on in the game and you don't have like a ton of huges, you can make more doing this than just grinding regularly, especially because you can AFK it. All right, so to AFK it, you're going to need tiny task for this. Some other setup that lets you record your mouse movements and your key movements. I'm not going to do a tutorial on how to install tiny task. I'm sure you could find a lot of those elsewhere on YouTube. All right, to set up this automatic process, you're going to have to find a careful spot somewhere between this plot and the insta plant capsules. So usually I stand like right here. If you stand in the right spot, you're going to be able to press E to use both of these, but only in the right moments. So so you just got to find that spot right here seems to work for me most of the time. You're going to start recording your tiny task function like this. Press E, diamond seed, yes. 
select the Instaplant capsules and then use it. And you're just gonna repeat the same process a bunch. This is just me recording it right now. And I'm just pressing E to select each one. So if you recorded that properly, you should be able to play it back like this. And now basically you can do this while you're AFK. You can do this while you're asleep or AFK watching a video or anything. Sometimes you'll only make around 10K diamonds, but if you get lucky, you can get like 25K diamonds per plant. One thing I do suggest is to have a magnet enchant on while you're doing this because sometimes the diamonds do get stuck behind like the flower pots and stuff. So just having that magnet enchant just basically just makes it so you don't risk losing just a random like part of bags of diamonds. I don't think any of the diamonds have ever gotten stuck while I'm using the magnet enchant so I think that completely fixes it. But this is overall the method. Now you can make more profit if you are able to find the diamond seeds or the instaplant capsules below wrap value. Which people do sell below rep value all the time because they don't even know about this method. Especially since they only just buffed the diamond seeds in this update. Previously, I believe they were giving 10 to 15k diamonds max. But now, obviously, they're giving 30 to 45k, which is a huge buff. A lot of people still don't know about this. And that's why you're able to get a lot of this stuff below rep value. So if you are able to do that, you can increase your margins by a lot. And end up making a ton of diamonds. Now if you do have a bunch of huges. I still think grinding is definitely the better method. Especially since you don't have to go out to the trading plaza. And buy all of these seeds or the instant plant capsules. From my calculations. It, it takes about 7 seconds for each of the processes. From planting the seed to harvesting. With this method that I'm doing right now. You can definitely get that time reduced. If you are more accurate with your clicks. And just trying to do it quicker. I think usually I can even get it down to six seconds, but at that seven second mark, you can make over 2 million diamonds an hour, even if you just get the 30k diamonds from each seed, which isn't the case because sometimes you're going to get 45k. So you're going to be making even more than that. That's just going to be based on your luck, but it's minimum 2 million diamonds an hour doing this method, which is actually amazing, especially because you don't need any high level pets and chance potions fruits nothing like it. the only two things you need are the seeds and the insta plant capsules just make sure you're looking out for these items when you are in the training plaza when you do have them all stacked up all you have to do is come here and then set this up and you can make a free two million diamonds in pure profit i'm gonna stop the process here let me plant this last seed this is probably the best like free to play new player method of making diamonds at the moment the only problem is that you actually need that initial investment to buy the diamonds and the instant plant capsules. So to do this for an hour straight, you're going to need 10 million diamonds. And then you're, you're basically going to come out of it with 13 million diamonds. So that you're able to use those diamonds to buy even more and repeat the process. But obviously you don't have to do this for an hour straight. This is just what you're going to want if you do want to repeat this for a whole hour. But you could do this with whatever diamonds and instant plant capsules that you already have. So basically, if you are doing it at full speed, you are going to need about two and a half million if you want to do it for 15 minutes. But I think you guys see the point. It's a pretty good constant method of making diamonds if you do feel like you're not making enough while grinding the final area. And if you keep flipping these to the point where you can buy enough to do it all night, you can actually make over 20 million diamonds, which is pretty insane. That is a lot of diamonds that you can make. And all you have to do is leave your computer running with that script going overnight, which most people that play this game seriously already do. So overall, if you guys enjoy this method, let me know down in the comments and like the video. Consider subscribing to the channel. It helps me out a lot and joining the discord if you want to be entered into daily giveaways. I will see you guys in the next one and peace out.